That's an awful big problem you have on the board. Hey, I'd like to go over something with you that you've never seen before known as click chemistry. Click chemistry was a word that was coined by K. Barry Sharpless. He's a Nobel Prize winner. He's now at the Scripps Institute in Lajola, California. In 2001, he won the Nobel Prize. And what we mean by click chemistry, which is a word that's really catching on in advanced organic chemistry these days, it means that we can do a reaction in one simple shot. They are fast, they're easy, we use benign conditions such as solvent conditions, and we get very high yields, and we get excellent regio and stereo specificity. Let me illustrate an example of click chemistry using something known as the O'Hara Bestman modification. What I'm going to do is I am going to take acetone and I am going to treat it with a chemical known as dimethyl 1-diazo 2-oxopropyl phosphonate. The way I would name this is a phosphonate, which is this compound here, has a phosphorus, there's two OR groups, there's a double bond O, and we have an R group. If this is carbon 1, this is 2, this is 3, we have a diazo on one and an oxo on another. So hopefully it just gives you an understanding of something that looks terrifying. So we have a methyl and a methyl. So we have a dimethyl, one diazo, two oxo, and it's three carbons, so it's propyl phosphonate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to react as reagent with the acetone in the presence of potassium carbonated methanol. And I am going to get a compound known as 2-butyne. Whenever a product has one extra carbon, we call it a homologation reaction. And that's something you should know for the data in the oath. If I use the word homologation, it means we're adding an extra carbon on. What I'm going to do and to start the mechanism is the carbonate deprotonates the alcohol to get bicarbonate and the nucleophile, which is methoxide. And that's where it starts from. We're going to do a nucleophilic addition. Follow along the arrows. All I care about you understanding the arrows, not the reaction. This is way over your head as far as complexity of the reaction, but you can do the mechanism with me. I'm going to launch an attack. The nucleophile adds. Notice we are hitting the antibonding orbital of the carbonyl, and that's going to generate this intermediate right here from the nucleophilic addition. Now the group is going to leave. We're going to, we're going to have the leaving group, which will be this. And we are going to get the acid produced, and we're going to get the needed nucleophile. That is the star of the show. And as you guys can see, I'm going to take this nucleophile, follow the arrows. It's all chemistry you know. I attack the carbonyl, simple nucleophilic addition. Now I get an intermediate you should recognize this. This was seen. This is a betaene-like intermediate. We saw something like this um, in the Wittig reaction. And now we're going to attack the d orbital of the phosphorus. And as you can see, the bond moves open, and we form an intermediate. Hopefully you all recognize something like this. This was an oxophosphatane seen in the reaction called the Wittig. Now, we're going to do a cyclo-elimination. In a cyclo-elimination, we are going to put a double bond between the P and the O. The bonds move out, and that is now going to produce... Now, make sure you understand what I just did here. I've laid a bond between the carbons and the nitrogen. Here it's carbon and carbon. I laid my bond down. We also have it between the nitrogens. I then drew a resonance form. I think drawing the resonance forms makes this a little bit easier. If this moved over, there's our triple bond. This moved over, you can see where the electrons are. Now, here's the tricky part. We're going to eliminate nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is a great, great leaving group. And now we do a rearrangement. Notice these electrons move to the end carbon, the bond forms down, and whoosh! We have our homologation, one-shot deal, um, Takes several hours to do it. The yield is fantastic, and we do it in one pop. So these new reactions are called click chemistry. Your job is to focus on the arrow movements. How I move the arrows, and you'll be sailing through the deck. It will be like kindergarten.
Wow, Dr. Romano, you seem to really like that Barry Sharpless. Are you friends with him? I'm a big fan of Dr. Sharpless. Dr. Sharpless is the greatest guy in the entire world. If you ever get a chance, look at his videos on YouTube. He's the kindest, most humblest guy in the entire world, but his reactions are not easy. Okay, good day to you. I'll see you guys in study group. Thank you, Dr. Romano. I like the clicks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Good day to you, sir. Wow, that's a big problem.